everybody, happy Thursday. So, I am about to go to the gynecologist. It's my yearly checkup. Itchy, itchy nose. Um, so yeah, the other day, well, day before yesterday, I filmed a vlog and I uploaded it yesterday and apparently it went crazy. Um, some of you let me know after I uploaded it that there was crazy sound. There was a crazy sound going through half the last half of my video and some of it was on mute and half of it was had creepy noises like it was crazy. It sounded like a haunted house. It was insane. So um, I deleted the video and then I replayed the whole thing on my iPhone and the whole video is fine on my phone. So I uploaded it again to YouTube and I played it first before I made it public and I got the same muteness and the same muteness, is that a word? The same muting and the same weird, crazy, creepy noises in the same spots of the video. So I don't know if it's my microphone. I kind of don't think so because my videos sound fine on my phone before I upload. So I'm wondering if it's just YouTube, like a problem with YouTube on this particular video. I don't know, but I'm scared to death to even upload today's vlog because what if it does it again? What if it's, what if it is my microphone on my phone? I'll have to freaking send my phone in to get fixed. I don't know. Because I paid like $800 for this phone. It's paid for in cash and I can't just get a new phone. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Anyway, um, I guess we'll see. So I'm going to get ready to go to the gynecologist. And, yeah. I cannot wait. It's my favorite time of the year. It's better than Christmas. <laughs> Am I on? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going. We're on our way to the gyno. Oh my gosh, this is the worst. This is the worst. At least, well, never mind. I, was gonna, I don't want to divulge too much information. It's just nasty. So I have you on my little pop socket hook, so that's why there's all this space right here. If I turned the camera around the other way, you wouldn't see me at all. You would only see steering wheel. So anyway, it's nice outside, but it looks like up in the mountains, it's kind of dark and the clouds are kind of like hanging low and it looks like it might be raining or snowing or something. I think today was supposed to kind of rain and then tomorrow and Saturday is supposed to snow. <laughs> oh, what a terrible angle. <laughs> so yeah. My gyno, it's, let's see, it's 144. My gyno is in a half an hour. Holy crap. I didn't think I was this late. And I'm, um, I'll make it in time though. I had to go potty first and all that. I was like, well, maybe I'll just go potty first. So I had to do that. And I'm not wearing lips, stamp. So, going to the gyno is not that bad. But the thing that I hate the most about it is my doctor, you know, the nurse gets you right in. My appointment's at 2.15. She'll get me right in at 2.15. And then after I get undressed and I have to put my robe on and sit up on the table, I wait. I sit there in my robe and I 
wait and I wait and I wait and I wait. He is never on time. He is always late. We're talking like a good 20 minutes or more late. And I end up getting so nervous and anxious for him to just get in so I can just get it over with. And it is horrible because then you get all sweaty. You get down there, sweat. I know, I know. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. TMI, I know, I know. But I'm just saying, you all, you females, you all know what I'm talking about. So it is what it is. But yeah, and so then I'm just like, oh man. It was all fresh down there and nice, and now it's not. <laughs> so that's what gets me. That's what gets me. I just don't like waiting. I don't like waiting. But he's busy, man. He's a good doctor, and he is busy. And I respect that. But dang, I just hate the wait. I hate the wait. Um, yeah. And I haven't eaten anything. I was working this morning. I transcribe sales calls in case you're wondering. And um, I ended up at 10.30, I ended up having this 30 minute phone call, which would, he was, he was an easy guy to type, but um, it didn't take just 30 minutes, you know. you. When a call says it's going to be 30 minutes, it's always going to be a good two hours, hour and a half to two hours, because you have to look things up and do this and that, and it takes time. And I had to get ready. I mean, I didn't think, I knew I wouldn't get in, get, well, I thought I wouldn't get it finished in time to get ready and then go to the doctor, and so I'm like rushing as fast as I can so I didn't have anything to eat and then I stopped it and I saved it and then I went and took a shower and got ready and then I realized okay I'm totally ready now I can go back up and finish before I go to the doctor so I finished the call and yeah I haven't I still haven't eaten because I just haven't had time so I'm starving and it's 1.48 and I'm starving. And I did take a, lara a lorazepam to calm my anxiety. So that when I'm sitting there for 20 minutes half naked, I won't get freaked out. Because one time, you guys, oh my gosh. I was fine. I walked right in. And I waited it was over half hour and it, I must have been the last appointment of the day. I think my appointment was like at 4.30 or 4.25 or something like that. And I waited until after 5 o'clock and nobody came to check on me. You know, they shut the door all the way. Nobody came to check on me and I could hear people leaving for the day. What's that noise? I was thinking, what is that noise? Am I getting that crazy noise again? But it was the car wash over there. So I could hear people leaving for the day. And then I could hear my doctor out there talking and stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, he's going to leave. I'm sitting here half naked. And I'm, no, they forgot about me. Oh my gosh. And I'm starting to drip sweat because I was so anxious. And I was like, okay, you know, do I poke my head out? I mean, I should have just gotten out and said, hey, what's going on? I'm still here, you know. But I'm so timid that I just sat there and sat there. And finally, he comes in. And I was just, he's like, how are you doing? I'm like, oh, good, blah, 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 blah. So when it comes time for the exam, you know, he has to do the front. He has to check your chest and all that, your boobies and I know TMI. So 
he unrobes my top half and I've got this huge rash all up and down my stomach and my whole chest. And I didn't even know because I didn't have a rash when I got there and I didn't feel itchy or anything. And so, and I didn't look at myself when, when he enrobed me because I was just laying down. And he's all, so how long have you had this rash? And I'm like, what rash? And I, he's like, this one. And I looked down and I'm like, oh my gosh. It was horrendous. I had hives all over me because of my anxiety, the nerves, my nerves sitting there waiting for him to come in. It was horrible. And I told him, oh my gosh, I think it's just because I'm nervous because I, I've been sitting here and I think you forgot and I thought you had forgotten me. So yeah, that was what has stayed in my mind all these years. And it wasn't that long ago. It was maybe eight years ago. Maybe, maybe sooner. So that, my friends, is my gynecologist story. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in a little right, bit. We're here. And I must get some gum. I have the worst dry mouth. Cotton mouth. So I'm going to have my Eclipse gum. I can figure out how to get it out. I had a whole brand new thing in here. I don't know where it went. Like there were two of these and I don't know where. Oh, I think it's in my other purse. All right. So my car clock is nine minutes early. I mean, nine minutes fast. And the, my house clocks are all 10 minutes fast. So the only way I knew I wasn't late, is, or whatever time it was, was to look at my phone. All right. Um. Lip balm. I'm not putting any lipstick on or lip gloss. I'm done. All right. <laughs> Let's get this over with, shall we? All done. I'm out of here. I am done, yo. I am done. That went fast. I went in, filled out papers. They called me right in. And then I only sat in the robe for like three or five minutes. And he was in. And I was done. So, say la vie. We'll see you next year, gynecologist. Guess what? I'm back. And it is great to be back. I don't ever want to go to the gynecologist for a whole nother year. I went to the post office. Oh my goodness. I am so surprised. And I opened it from the bottom because the top is full of duct tape. <laughs> and I didn't want to dull my knife trying to slit all that open. So I opened it from the bottom. 
So I have a lot of packing peanuts to go through. This is from Wanda Hart. Sweet Rhonda has been watching my videos for a long, long, long time. Oh, okay, let's see. I feel bad that I'm opening it upside down. I hope that doesn't make a problem with how this works. But I can see right away there's a picture frame under here. Oh my goodness. Okay, Mo Mo. I'm just gonna start bawling. Look at how beautiful. Oh my gosh. These are so precious and beautiful. Thank you. I'm trying to think. I have a piece of glass here. I wonder if it will fit. Oh, I think this is too big. I saved this picture frame from something else. Yeah, it, the glass is way too big for that, but that's okay. I can totally go to the Dollar Tree yep, and buy another frame and use the glass. Oh my gosh. These are so pretty. I'm gonna start crying. Did you make these, Wanda Hart? I just love them. I just love them. Okay. I need to stop crying right this minute. I almost lost it there. Here's a pair of socks. These are cute. They're little kitties. Oh, stop. They're so cute. And then here's a pair of plain stripies on the side. I love these. Thank you. They're darling. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. And I am just, I'm very humbled. <laughs> Tracy B. Look at that sticker. It's 3D. That is the cutest sticker ever. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It says, little card. I'm going to tear up. I just know it. Hi, Tracy. My husband made these pictures. For you and Daryl, hope you like them. Your friend Wanda Hart, he made them with a scroll saw. The cat socks are for me. Love ya. Oh my gosh. And then she has two little kitties right there. Oh, Wanda, thank you so much. I just don't know what to say. I love these so much, and Daryl will too. Oh my goodness. These are going to go in my office. <laughs> They're my kids. Oh my gosh. I just love them so much. Oh my gosh. Thank your husband for me. I just, he's a sweetheart for doing that. Oh my gosh. I don't know how long it took him or what is involved with this process, but thank him for me. And thank you, Wanda, you are so sweet. Let me just make sure that there's nothing left that I'm forgetting. Okay, good. 
I just, I, I love my gifts, Wanda, and I just thank you so much, and I cannot wait. I'm going to get another frame and fix that crack. But anyway, I just love you, and thank you so, so much. Mwah! I could probably just take the glass out and not even have glass, but I don't want, I don't want the insides to get dusty because my house is dusty. So yeah, I'm going to get another frame for this. Oh, I just love these so much. Oh, they're so precious. Oh my gosh. I'm going to show you the face of the day and this is the same face of the day as the other day when I tried to vlog it and you couldn't hear me because of the creepy sounds and the mute so here we go again Let's see there's a handful of things here I used on my face my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation, which I absolutely love. This is in light neutral. I love it. I got mine at Ulta. Er, no. I don't know if I got it at Ulta or Sephora. I can't remember. And under my eyes, I'm using the Bye Bye Under Eye. And this, I have one in light and in medium. And I mix them together. And it works out just swell. For my eye primer, I'm using my 100-year-old Urban Decay Eye Primer Potion. This is in Sin. I don't even know if they make it anymore in this particular color. But this is so old and it's lasting forever. And it doesn't stink and it totally works still for my eyeshadow. I love it. I'm using my Brow Stylist Definer by L'Oreal for my eyebrows. This is in medium or dark blonde. I'm not using that. I don't even know why I grabbed that. Clear Brow Gel by Anastasia. I love this stuff. Love it. It lasts forever. Worth the money. I'm using Derma Blend Smooth Liquid Camel Concealer. And I just use this like on my zit scars that I have left over. On my eyes, I'm using my Wet n Wild Walking on Egg Shells that I adore. If I could only wear one palette, it'd probably be this one. And like I said in the last video, I use this all the time. When I travel, this is what I'll take. Because I'm just afraid of, like, if my luggage gets lost, because I check my luggage. I don't want to lose my good stuff. Or if, if somebody steals it or something, you know, I this is cheap, but it's nice, and it looks nice, and it's great for travel. It just is. Um, I'm using my L'Oreal True Match Blush in Baby Blossom. I use this every day. I put it on first and then I put other blush on top of it. This just sort of helps the other blush go on nicer because you can barely see this. And so the other blush is my Mary Kay blush and that's I think Nude Rose and that's Strawberry Cream. So I put that on and then that on top. Yeah, I know, I know. And for the lipstick, I had on my Mary Kay Tuscan Rose. 
yeah, Tuscan Rose. Um, I like it. It's all right. You have to keep reapplying it, and it smells like plaster or something like that. But it's a really pretty color, and yeah, it's all right. But frankly, the LA Colors is just as good, if not better, than this. And they're a dollar, Dollar Tree. And then my mascara, like always, the Maybelline Total Temptation and Waterproof. And last but not least is my eyeliner. You can't see it, but it's a CoverGirl Perfect Blend um, pencil, and this is in Smoky Taupe. I don't know if they still make this color. I hope so, because I love it, and I want more of it. Okay. And that was the face of the day, everybody. So for dinner tonight, I'm making those chicken things. Just check on them. Oh, they're a little overdone. They're done. I actually think they'll be okay. So I am also microwaving the butternut squash. That's a microwavable bag, so we'll see how that turns out. Damn. Here's dinner. I think... I overcooked the chicken because they're thin and I wasn't, so I shouldn't have put it in for so long. But I'm glad I caught it when I did. I kind of like dried up, burned up chicken. <laughs> I got chicken leather. It's chicken jerky, honey. Yours won't be as bad because yours is thicker. No. It needs sauce. No. It's very dry. There's nothing. It needs salt. <laughs> I guess I can make some sort of sauce. I think they may have like a lemon pepper marinade sauce or something that you can put over it or something. Listen to mine. It's crunchy, huh? Crunchy much? It needs sauce. Okay, I made mustard mayonnaise sauce. Mmm, much better, huh? It's like chicken cordon bleu without the cordon or the blue. <laughs> Good now. <laughs> and I don't know how the squash is because I microwaved it in the bag like you can. And I had to microwave it forever. Oh, good. I'm gonna put butter on it and some onion salt and pepper. Lola? Hmm. Squash is good. Do you like the chicken anyway? Oh, I don't know. Like, I can get it again, I just won't cook it like this. Yeah. I think I've seen like thin stuff like this cooked, well, I mean, you could do it in a fryer, you know, I've seen it like cooked in a pan with like a sauce or something like a, some type of a, or cream sauce or some type of something like that. Well, I'm not a sh chef. No. I'm not going to cook it in a butter cream sauce. Well, I don't know, I just, you know, I mean, they, I've seen it, that's how I've seen it done before, whatever, you know, or restaurants. It's like, 
esta persona sí que me gusta. ¿no? It kind of reminds me of that chicken you remember you got at uh, Cheesecake Factory. That lemon cotta chicken. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of big and thin like this, but you know, I had that sauce on it. Yeah, it had that lemony cream sauce. Mm -hmm. I'd have to figure out how to make that. Hey, everybody, welcome to the closet. I am cutting this video short because I'm still having trouble with the last vlog making freaking noises. I thought I deleted all those scenes, all the clips with all the muting and all of the weird noises, but apparently there's still a little bit of crazy wind blowing type stuff. So. If you hear any of that, I am aware of it, and I need to get that uploaded. My internet is so slow, it takes like an hour and a half to upload a freaking 20 minute video. And so I need to upload that and test it out again, and then I need to upload today's vlog, and hopefully, knock on wood, it won't have any problems. I just don't know what's happening. Daryl said, well, maybe it's just that particular video file is just having problems, and so it is what it is. Um, but I just, it's just so weird that it's fine on my phone, but it's horrible when it's uploaded to YouTube. So I don't know what's going on. But if this happens to all my videos, I don't know what I'm going to do, you guys. I'm going to have to just stop vlogging because... I can't do this like my videos can't be like that and I never know when or where that noise or mutation muting is gonna happen if it's gonna happen so I don't know so anyway wish me luck and I guess if I post this video you'll know that it worked thanks for hanging out with me today and thanks for going to the gynecologist with me today and thanks for having kaka dinner with me tonight. Actually, dinner was really good. If I wouldn't have cooked the chicken for so long, it would have been amazing. I'm definitely going to get it again because it really was good. I just need to remember don't cook it for so long since it's so thin. I'm used to cooking bigger chicken breasts, you know. So I'm still experimenting with that air fryer. Live and learn. Anyway, have a great night and have a wonderful sleepy. And we'll see you next time. Bye. How long have you had this rash? I'm like, what rash?